what up loves it's your girl bambi and i'm coming at y'all with i hope the camera is right i got like the mirror behind there so i can kind of see um but i hope the camera is not like crooked or anything like that but we gonna get it together so as you can see from the title i am starting my entrepreneur life series so this is episode one i'm just be talking about my brand and just a couple of things here and there because I feel like the best way to start off this series is actually talking about my brand. I have featured my brand on my YouTube channel like months ago when I like started. But now it's been four months um, starting from March 7th. So it's been four months, July 7th. And... Yeah, so it's been a it's been a journey. It's been a journey. My business is still small. It's still in the beginning stages. We just did our first quarter of being in business. So one fourth of a year in business down, basically. Not one fourth, one third. Excuse me. I don't know my math. Um, <laughs> I was just like, wait a minute, no, that don't sound right. But it's been one third, uh, in one third year in business. And yeah, so what I'm going to start off with is just, you know, telling uh, telling y'all about myself real quick, uh, letting y'all get to know who I am and whatnot. So my name is, my name is Jaleesa, that's why I wear the J. But most people know me as Queen Bambi when it comes to makeup, being in this industry, people know me as Queen Bambi, especially on Instagram. Like, that's my name. I'm fine with y'all calling me Bambi, QB, Queen, all that that's cool like i'm cool with that we can rock with that uh so yeah my brand is called vintage vanity cosmetics if you do not know of course i will have the link to the website because now i have a website when i first started out let me tell you something y'all when i first started off my business i was taking orders in dms honey like i have like stories for y'all but i now have a website i've been had a website since late may so it's been pretty much a little bit over a month since I had my website and yeah um what else can I tell y'all before we get in the nitty-gritty of the products and everything uh well basically my brand is Vintage Vanity Cosmetics my business started March 7th 2020 had my first sale that day um both local and online and yeah like my brand is Pretty much what inspired the brand is the South, because I'm a Southern girl from Dur Durham, North Carolina, child. So, yeah, I had to put my Southern twist into it. But what I love the most is vintage. I love vintage everything. I love vintage beauties, all that. But when you think of vintage, you think of, like, Marilyn Monroe, like, old Hollywood and stuff like that. You think of Marilyn Monroe. You think of Elizabeth Taylor, Audrey Hepburn um the list goes on but you don't really necessarily think about the black vintage beauties like women that i can personally relate to like yes Marilyn is beautiful but i can't relate to a blonde hair fair skin lady like i'm gonna just be real i can't relate beauty wise to that so i'm looking at the camera let me look at the camera because i'm probably not looking at the camera um i can't relate to that i can't relate to Elizabeth Taylor, like beauty wise, like I don't see myself in them, you know, and I won't. And you always think of them as timeless, classic, feminine beauties, but we don't, as black women, we don't get that. We don't get to see ourselves in that light a lot, especially in the vintage community. Like I see it, I've, you know, we don't have it. And when they do speak of black vintage beauties, we always get Dorothy Dandridge, who I love. We barely get Josephine Baker. Well, you know, they might throw in Lena Horne here and there, maybe. And that's about it. That's it. But I want us to be celebrated as timeless beauties, vintage beauties. And the South and vintage is just what created vintage vanity cosmetics because anybody who know my makeup style they know my makeup is very it's not instagrammy i would not say my makeup style really fits into instagram i mean yeah when i do my colorful looks yeah but i don't feel like that's my total aesthetic like this is my aesthetic i like when you look at my makeup 
sorry if I'm looking at the mirror because I want to make sure that I'm still in frame and all that kind of stuff. But when you when I look at my makeup, I always feel like my makeup is going to be I'm going to be able to wear my makeup years and years and years down the line as I get older, as trends change, repeat and everything. I feel like that's what my makeup says. It's timeless. And that's what I like. I want to be able to look back on photos and be like, I can still do that makeup look and not look wild or whatever. And as a business, people have to realize everybody is not walking out here with a glitter cut crease, green eyeshadow, even though that's my favorite. Um, and just all these like crazy colors on the eyes. That's not an average person it's just not and even like if you do love makeup that's not an everyday thing that's just not even when you look at these beauty influencers from jackie and shayla um Reezy, just the list goes on they're they're not doing makeup their makeup like that all the time or even they probably rarely do it you know like it's if you like a certain brand, of course, that's going to be your style, your aesthetic. And that's what get the likes and the comments. But I'm not trying to fit in with everybody else. I'm trying to stand alone because I know I'm unique in my own way. And that's what I want Vintage Vanity to be. I don't want to have to conform just to make y'all, you feel me. Because you're going to feel my vibe regardless. So, I wanted to create a brand that just says me like when you think of vintage vanity you be like yeah that's the style that's that's bambi right there like that's what i wanted to do and yeah so what i what i i'm trying to think what i want to start off with but we're gonna just go into it so when i started my business i had five products i had a lip scrub a lip balm and three lip gloss colors so in total five and those three colors were these three right here so i have baby girl that was the first sweet tea and danny which is named after and inspired by dorothy dandridge and i have my smooth light butter lip balm and my gimme sugar lip scrub that's all i had that's what i started off with and now i've done moved into having a lip oil which i am going to actually revamp but i will show y'all and this is the golden age lip oil i am thinking about changing the packaging and switching it up a little bit just making it better it's stuff that i'm not personally happy with um i feel like as a business you should always improve even though everybody like who has purchased this love this lip oil i definitely want to revamp it to make it better you know make it better uh and i also expanded my lip gloss shade range from three colors to nine so i have nine colors and i will go through them in a second and i also got into lashes so i actually have my own lashes on right now and these are helen they are inspired by helen williams she is the first black model to go to get into mainstream fashion in the 1950s and i am i am very sure a lot of y'all don't know who she is but if you ever you know take the time to google her she is super super gorgeous and i just had to pick something from her like she's a model a black model from the 50s that went mainstream like how cool is that like come on now so these lashes that i have on right now are my helen lashes uh, these right here, these are actually from my, um, inventory. I just wanted to kind of show y'all in the pack or whatnot. So these are Helen. And I also have two other styles, which are Aaliyah. Aaliyah was my first style. And of course, if, I mean, if you haven't guessed it, it's inspired by the singer Aaliyah, who is one of my favorites from the 90s. And she's a big inspiration to me beauty-wise. And I feel like she's like the epitome of beauty in the 90s. So I had to do a lash for her. And then we also have Lola, which is more dramatic. And she is inspired by Lola Falana. She was popular in the late 60s and during the 70s. She's a black actress. So, yeah. And let's get into these lip glosses. Oh, well, hold on. Let me show y'all other things. Like, I also have highlighters. So, I have four shades, which I will show y'all. And I also got into accessories so we have these cute small faux pearl earrings 
perfect for any southern belle in you know vintage bay like let's be let's keep it 100 so let's get into my hollywood pout lip glosses these are like my best selling items i hand mix everything so these are handmade handcrafted lip glosses they are infused with almond oil and grapeseed oil for the best condition and hydration for your lips so i already showed you danny which is a warm tone warm tone red then you have baby girl which is like your cute girly pink shade and then you have my number one seller which is sweet tea sweet tea is definitely became one of my faves and my supporters faves like i remember the day i did a promo pick for sweet tea and this baby sold out and it's been selling out ever since like this is definitely my number one seller my best seller it is a caramel brown shade with slight gold shimmer perfect for a woman of color or any woman is any woman of um any skin tone at that but i know a lot of my 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 brown beauties out there my my women of color really really enjoy this they really really do i ain't gonna front like the black girls they loving sweet tea honey they love it and it's perfect for any nude topping over pinks just beautiful shade beautiful 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 shade now uh let's get into the other six shades that i've added over the course of four months so this shade right here is called 1970 and it is a pe a warm peach shade and i wanted something that represents that natural beachy look of the 70s and this is the shade right here. I was like, this is perfect. I love wearing this with like my peachy tone lipsticks. Super pretty pink lipsticks and everything like that. I love 1970. One of my favorite. Well, I love all my shades, but I definitely love a good peach tone lip gloss. I feel like it's very hard to kind of find peach shades that really complement brown skin tones of all shades. And this is this is bad. So if you like a peach lip gloss, definitely get 1970. And then this one right here, people asked me if I was going to do a clear. And at first I really wasn't going to do one, but I was like, let me go ahead and do a clear. And this one is Honeysuckle. It has slight iridescent shimmer and glitter in it. And Honeysuckle is basically named after the Honeysuckle plant. If you're from the South, you probably most likely as a child has sucked on these um, Honeysuckles to get the honey out and stuff. So Honeysuckle, I actually use this quite a bit. This is like my staple if I don't want to use my lip balm because I actually use my lip balm more as a overnight treatment, as a conditioning treatment for my lips because my lips do get quite dry naturally. So um i definitely love using that at night so this basically became like my chapstick during the day and with the for um uh, with my formula it keeps your lips hydrated like even when it wears off your lips are so smooth and soft so if you like a good clear gloss definitely check out honeysuckle then we have southern bell like i love southern bell like i wore it um in a look the other day that I did, it was a soft glam look, something similar to this. Uh, and I just really love Southern Belle. Like, it's a nice rose gold lip gloss. I should have, like, pushed these a little bit more fo forward now that I think about it. But that is Southern Belle. And then, okay, this one right here, pretty much I thought about my, my great-grandmother when I made it. She was, like, such a fashionable lady. She was born 1934 so this purple this deep plum shade right here is called 1930 and this is like inspired by my grandma like the shades from the 1930s and everything like that so this is a deep plum shade and i actually really do like this color because i just felt like this is something that i need for my brand <coughs> sorry choking <coughs> get it together so, this next shade right here is a deep brown shade. Hopefully, y'all can see it. This one is called 94. When I think of the 90s, I definitely think of, like, deep brown lip colors. And I actually have this on with my lip that I have on today. And I really like that combination. It gave me this look because 
the look I was going for is if you ever watch Romeo Must Die, it's like a lip shade that Aaliyah wore. And then also it kind of remind me of Brandy from The Boy's Mind when she had that pink look. So that's what I was kind of going for with this look anyway. So this is 94. And then we have, this is the, my newest shade. I released this in June. This is actually Josephine for Josephine Baker, which is a cool tone red. It's a deep berry type of red. And I love it. And it has red glitters in it. So this one is Josephine. So that is all my shades. And I already showed you Baby Girl and Sweet Tea and all that. Now let's get into the highlighters because I showed you the lashes and the lip glosses now for the highlighters. And I'm going to start off... Mm, I'm going to start off with the first one I made. And the first one I made is called Marpisa after Marpisa Dawn. She is a black actress, I believe French as well. And it's a nice bronze shade. So I named it Marpisa and it's my first Hollywood Glow highlighter. Love it. Love it. Love this shade. Because when I made this shade, I wanted you know brown skin tones especially deeper skin tones to be able to wear easily i wanted my first highlighter to compliment i'm not gonna lie like deep, you know medium to deep like my skin tone and darker skin tones uh next shade that i did that compliments everybody from light to dark is eartha and if you don't know Eartha Kit. so this one is a deep rose gold i love when i tell you i love this on like dark deep dark skin tones like this is so pretty and i love it on like my skin tone i love rose gold highlighters i feel like rose gold highlighters is so slept on it looks so good on <laughs> pretty much anybody but if you put it on some melanin child just be hitting so eartha is actually a personal fave of mine so i love eartha la 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 love eartha and then i did baby girl which is also um in homage of Aaliyah and it's a pink highlighter and on my skin tone and somebody lighter it actually comes it looks good as a blush I haven't seen anybody um deeper than me use it as a blush but it looks gorgeous as a highlighter gorgeous as a highlighter so this is my pink highlighter and then the newest one is actually uh inspired by Sade, the singer Sade, you know, smooth operator Sade, feel me. Uh, this one is a champagne highlighter, and I do plan on actually expanding my highlighter shades. And by the way, I do have on Baby Girl on my lids. So, yes, I do have Helen Lashes. Sorry, I keep looking at the mirror because I can't help it because I look cute. But um, I do have on Helen Lashes and Baby Girl on my lid. So yeah and i have on 94 on my lip and i have ursa as my highlighter now that's pretty much the line like i showed y'all everything and i do plan on expanding this line of course more lip gloss shades i hope to do lipsticks eyeshadows glitters like an abundance of things but you know i like i have a good start at four months you have so many things to like choose from and to create a vintage vanity face which is a hashtag that i created on instagram called like i said vintage vanity face and i just do pretty much a look using the brand in its entirety from eyes face and lip so yeah um what else did i want to touch on by the way i am 29 <laughs> so I, I can't remember if I touched base on it, but my name is Jaleesa. But like I said, people call me Bambi. I'm 29. I'm from Durham, North Carolina. So I'm a young black woman entrepreneur. I feel like, yeah, I may be almost 30, but that's still young to actually start a new chapter in my life. Like, I literally started my life over, starting my business. Um, I'm so proud of it and so just dedicated to it. And I, I was doing a live interview with a page called launch doll and they're so super nice and sweet and it was just a good experience good vibe good energy and they was just asking me just different questions and you know and 
one thing I want from this series is for y'all to understand with running a business, it's going to be ups and downs. It's going to be days where you don't get a sale. It's going to be day. It's going to be a week that you might not get a sale. It's going to be weeks where you getting nothing but sales and you hustling, you moving and you grooving and, you know, dealing with customers, the consumer, everything. Like, I want this series to be very transparent from me having like one like the other day i was so discouraged i felt so down but i keep telling myself this is something that god gave you i tell people like my my business was god given god gave me this business because over the years he was giving me the knowledge that i need um i was telling this story on the live that for years i was trying to find a home you know i'm a i am still a, much so a beauty influencer i worked cosmetic retail so the beauty industry is nothing new to me it's something that really just i mean i made a career out of it so for years i wanted to find a home work for a brand i've worked with so many brands from clinique estee lauder um long comb urban decay anastasia beverly hills like just pushing and working with these brands these brand reps to two face the list go on you know i even did a little bit of um helping out with the matte counter like as a makeup artist you know i was you know cool with the uh, counter manager and everything i love when i was working there like when the Aaliyah collection came out i actually worked that day at mac and everything so I, but i was like i just never had a home like i went from brand to brand to brand and i'm just like i really want a home and even as an influencer i wanted a brand to pick me i wanted to be picked you know and to be honest like god was like nah that's not none of these places is your home but i felt like it was gonna be a home you know god was like i'm giving you the know-how the knowledge to build the foundation of your own home, which is Vintage Vanity Cosmetics. I started my business March 7th, 2020. Um, the idea, like, of having my own brand started, like, I've been wanting my own brand, but it didn't come into play until last year in August, actually, 2019. But I just felt, I allowed my I was excited for the business, but I feel like God was like, you're not ready for the business. And then when 2020 came, honey, I was just like, this is not it with this job I was doing. This is not it. This is not, I can't do it no more. I don't want to do this. But I stayed and I prayed and I, you know, I just kept pushing through. And I was just like, God, gonna, he going to lead me to it. He going to send me through it. Whatever the next step in my life is going to be, he going he gonna to take me through it. And he did. And he was like, you're going to be having your brand. And I had bought this book. I remember I bought this notebook and I started like just writing in it and just putting like my business. I have like um, scripture in here, ideas, just everything. Like when I first thought about my business, like really starting to want to put effort and money towards my business, I was going to start off with glitters and a fragrance. Like really, that's not even you. You know, like, I mean, I love glitter and I love fragrance, but that's not what I'm known for. Like, people, when people think about me, they think about lip liner, lips, anything lips and lashes and very nice, pretty makeup. So, soft, you know, soft glam looks like this. So, it was it. <coughs> I got a tickle in my throat, y'all. Sorry. But, um, yeah, and I would just put everything in this notebook everything everything you can name it um pricing of things formulas of my colors everything like that and i you know i still use i still use this book and i do recommend get you a notebook and a binder for sure for sure and i know this video is all over the place it's the first video i i just wanted to go ahead and do it i felt I felt God led me to, because I, I would contemplate it, and I really feel like God, like, go ahead and start doing a series, so <laughs> bear with me. Um, but now I have a binder, and it's organized in everything. Everything has pretty much a place in the binder, and in front of the binder, it is a picture, like a vintage picture of black women, like, getting their makeup done and stuff, and it has vintage vanity cosmetics on there. 
and uh yeah so i definitely feel like you need to at least have a notebook write your your plans down and everything like that and yeah um in this video i also want to talk about just anybody if you're wanting to start a business and you're going to start a business or you're in your business whatever stage in your business you are in you are never going to be ready and I feel like that's just facts. You're never going to be ready. So if you're sitting here thinking about, I don't have the money, I don't have this, I don't have that. Let me tell you, when I started off my business, um, guess what? I had no labels. I had no website. I had no business cards. I had nothing but the product and a DM and a dream and a cash app and PayPal, honey. Like, that's it. I did not have all these things that these other entrepreneurs on here talk about. You need to have this, you need to have Look, you're going to get it how you're going to get it. Pure point blank. i always been a hustler and I always worked for something. You know what I'm saying? I always put my best foot forward on everything I do. So I was like, we, I'm going to get it how I'm going to get it. And I've only had a website for about a month. Like, a little over a month now. So I, to be honest, like... I made what I want to say over 70 or close to 80 sales without a website. That's combining local and DM. So to me, I feel like it's no excuse. If you want your business, you're going to go for your business. People going to buy from you regardless. And that's just that. Like, period. Like, I don't know how, how else to put it. If you want your business, you're going to go for your business. You're going to do your business. You're going to make it do what it do. I will say having a website is very, very, very much so way easier, okay? It's way, way easier. But I knew this is something that I wanted, so I was going to just work towards it. I never thought that I was going to have, like, uh, my business reach this far. You know what I'm saying? Or be as successful as it is right now, you know? I may be down about myself, but when I really sit here and think, I'm like, who do you know in less than a week sold out? I sold out a sweet sweet tea in like a week. And then it took like a week and a half for baby girl and then two weeks for Danny. Like as a small business, as a beginner business with no website, I think that is nothing but God for real. You know, so I always tell people, if you want to do it, go ahead and do it. Don't give up on yourself. Even if you get stuck, keep going, keep moving, keep promoting, keep working, keep doing it. Keep on, keep on. Because if you choose to stay stuck, that's on you. When it comes to your business, that's you. That's you. You can't blame a boss, an associate. You can't blame nobody but you if you're not working and hustling. And it's okay if you have to start over or take a step back. It's okay. Like... You have as many opportunities to have your business as much as you want. If Super Sid decided to stop when she felt suck, stuck or discouraged, we wouldn't have Crayon Case. Same thing with Fenty. Same thing with Juvia's Play. Same thing with Beauty Bakery. If they, Same thing with um, Color Rain. Like If they decided to give up because they were stuck, then we wouldn't have more black owned beauty brands you feel me so i know that it's going to be a rough it's going to be rough and i i don't i don't like i said i'm gonna be as transparent as i can be as informative as i can be with this series i'm gonna be real i'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all like it'd be it'd be days like the other day i cried because i'm just like man like come on like what am i doing wrong why am i not getting like sales this week I've been getting them. I've been doing this, but you know, you just got to keep pushing and you got to move through, you got to push through the emotions and stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this video is like all over the place and it's longer than what I wanted it to be, but I definitely wanted to just kind of introduce myself. Like I said, Hey, I'm Jaleesa, but y'all can call me Bambi or Queen Bambi. It's whatever y'all comfortable with. Um, and to introduce my brand, like the products and everything, because I definitely want y'all to support and shop the brand. Vintage Vanity is a brand for timeless beauty. I want, I don't care if you like cut creases. I don't care if you like one little eyeshadow on the lid. 
I want everybody and their mama to feel when they look at my brand, they feel vintage, they feel southern, they feel they feel timeless. And I want to create more and more looks with my brand, more and more products with my brand, expand and just I want to take out on this journey with me and you know, I want to, you know, showcase my brand. This is a like I will I I think I'm going to do a vi like just a video talking about social media and entrepreneurship and stuff so if y'all interested in that i'll make that probably episode two or something or episode three but you know of course in the comment section tell me what y'all want to see next maybe me making a color because i believe sweet tea is almost sold out so if you want sweet tea honey you, you better go get it because she be she be she gets sold out fast and i will like probably do a um sanitizing video um, and then fill in lip glosses. Whatever y'all want to see my process and everything and what y'all want me to talk about, budget, um, promoting, social media, whatever, uh, please let me know in the comment section and whatnot. But definitely, most importantly, support by subscribing, commenting, liking, and also shopping the website, which will be in the description, of course. So, you know, shop with your girl. Uh, like I said, I have accessories. I have lip gloss, I have uh, lip care, and I have lashes, all that highlighters. So, you know, shop with your girl. And I am having a 20% off sale today. Like, not today, well, this whole week. So it does end the 11th at midnight. Um, and when you spend $15, you get $25, not $25, but 25% off your purchase. So you have to spend $15 and then you'll get the 25% off automatically. And you also get a mini glitter uh, for free with any purchase. So if you just want a lip scrub, you get a glitter. If you want a lip gloss, you get a glitter. So yeah, um, I'm rambling and I feel like I touched base on everything, kind of introducing myself. I carry with my brand, it like I said, I'm kind of just like winging it right now because I don't know all I want to do. Like I said, I want to keep it transparent. I want to keep it real. I want to keep it raw. So, yeah, shop with your girl. Also, follow me on my so on my Instagram, which is the underscore queen Bambi, which is my beauty page, my beauty blogging page, and my personal page. And follow my business page, vintage underscore vanity underscore cosmetics. That's the business page. And like I said, the store will be in the description. Hit that link. Shop, 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 shop. So, yeah, thank you for watching. And like I said, if you have any questions and, you know, any, like, suggestions of future episodes, let me know. And, yeah, um, stay beautiful, stay blessed, and... Be a vintage, babe. <laughs>